someone here who trades in goods. Hungry, are you? <laughs> For anything else, you should see a fellow called Votoma. But he can get... You're the young... Yes, that'll be me. Why? The lady of the castle was asking after you. She wants to talk to you. Ah, I'll go and see her then. Thank you. Very well. Don't make her wait. Can I help you with anything? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. My lady, why me? Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but he doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. And I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is that not true? It will be my honour, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sasau for Sophie, wine from a merchant in Ratai, and a roan from the stable in Ujitz. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Siski and pick it up. You said uh, a roan from Ujitz. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous. Wine, a roan and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. to ride a horse, idiot.
Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for the local group. Well, you find him. What can I do for you? The lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well, Chamberlain Dietrich said something like that. We have him here, but he's ready. I can't see. That miserable horse will let you saddle and walk him around the court. As soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. That horse is supposed to be presented at a noble woman's wedding. It probably won't be appropriate if he makes a spectacle of his rider. Is there anything I can do? Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Petrix arranged it with you. Jesus Christ be praised. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes. I suppose I do. Then how do you do it? How do you calm him down? I'm... I'm good to him. Listen, Vashek. I've been entrusted by the Lady of Talmberg. I need you to help me understand how to calm down that roan. Lady Stephanie? Then you know her. She's a good person. She even talked to me once. I know her too, and she was nice to me as well. Will you help me with the roan? You have to... S sing him his favourite song. And which one would that be? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one is brown and the second is grey which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's, uh, interesting. I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Basha. Sing. to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry.
Hey. Oh, God damn it. That's all I need. I wonder what Come Therese again, is up to. Anytime. <laughs> God be with you. Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia, jewels from Germany. Wine. Good wine. Ah. Ah. Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noble woman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. Uh, I suppose I'll just have to find a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do to help.
it with you. I've heard there's a contest happening, and that the prize is a keg of fine wine. That's true. I bought the finest wine to be had in the province. I'd like to take part. Do you know the rules? I do. Splendid. Here's some arrows for you. But you can use your own if you want. Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. Got out to you, sir. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. I can't wait to drink to it. Yes, um, on the subject of drinking, I'm guessing you prefer beer to wine. <laughs> no, not really. I could drink beer in any tavern, but there's no wine as good as this one. It's just that the wine you won, I need it. Not a chance. I won it fairly. You don't want to disappoint Lady Stephanie of Talmberg and her courier, do you? So you say. But you don't look much like a fine lady's messenger to me. Well, in that case, I'll find it elsewhere. You and I both know you won't. You'll be back, though. Have you lost something? Jesus Christ be praised. The Lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Uh, through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown, a beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But, well, in short, the good merchant, Martin Wiesek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground swallowed him up. Lady Stephanie won't be happy. Uh, look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding and definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. 
Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. Why don't you just ask me? Of course I'll try to find the stone. Just tell me where the fellow was seen last. Well, that fellow, as you call him, the esteemed merchant, Martin Wiesek, was last seen riding alongside the Sassau River, passing by the footbridge over the ford, to the west of here. Evidently, he never made it to Sassau town. Hmm. Well, I'll look for him, but he could be far over the mountains by now. Or under the ground. Answer to my pr
About that Moldavite we discussed. Yes. Do you have some news? Yes. Uh, the good news is I found Vizak. That sounds like cause for rejoicing, but how come he isn't with you? That's the bad news. He didn't survive. Merciful God. He was a good and highly respected man. I will pray for his soul. Anyway, let me see the stone, if you would be so kind. Of course. Here it is. Excellent. It looks undamaged. I'll get straight to work. You can come for the finished crown tomorrow evening. Good day. What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Of course it's finished. Here you have it. Thank the Lord you found that Moldavite. It wouldn't be the same without it. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? I brought the roan, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learnt a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <coughs> um... <coughs> to horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there Ah... Uh, First one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So what's next? I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Problems? I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. 
And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me, as well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But... but I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right, then. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. I'm ready. My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Forgive me, my lady. I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. 